Hello everyone, this is Eric from Geekworks. Now, in this video I'll be showing you how to be getting the files from any of the products or the freebie also would be in there. How you would get them into your RPG Maker game. Now, in order to do this, you have to be downloading the file. So I do have it here as an example. Now, once you get the zip, go ahead and extract. And so you have a choice to choose between which size you want to be using. Right now, the 16, 32, or the 48. So for this demonstration, I'll be using the 48 pixels. Okay. Now, in this file, it's going to have a little readme, and here are all the different files that we're going to be putting into the RPG Maker game. Okay. So. This is of course assuming you already got to your RPG Maker game folder. So you would find wherever the RPG Maker is, open it up, and get into your game folder files. So for mine, the project, I call it Art Tester. And we're going to be starting with adding in the characters first, okay? So there's usually, as far as I know, two files for the characters. So you have the regular characters, which is this one. So this is like the overworld main character and then I usually include characters that are going to be alternating between different animations such as this one which is like a lamp. And then I also include like large characters such as this one. So this is like some kind of dancing flower or something that I created. So it alternates between the different images. I'll be showing you how those get used in a bit. So let's go ahead and grab those first and copy them. And we'll be putting them in the image. Go to characters. Okay, so those are in the proper folder. Now let's go ahead and get the others. So all of these other ones are with the tile set. So we'll get these copied. Go to your image folder again. Tile sets. Go in here. There we go. So now everything is in the right place. Now we don't really need this. Let's go to your game. So here it's a completely blank slate, but I did prepare the various maps ahead of time. You can go ahead and take the time to make these. If you want to look at the dimensions I'm using, there's 1713, 108, 1713. And 1713. Okay, so first let's start with the character. So this is going to be the overworld character. You'll be using this one. I don't think you want to be walking around as a lamp. And of course, you want to be going to system, setting them as the main character. So in this case, I have BB the B right here. I'll be sure, making sure that that's the character you're going to be using as you walk around in the overworld. Okay, next we're going to be creating the tile set itself. So we did put the files in, so this should be simple. So I did create this right there. Okay, so we're going to be starting with the animation or animated files. And let's go down in here. Okay, so the auto tile is going to be the animated file, okay? For the floor at least. So they're right there. As far as I know, they're usually going to be impassable. Um, but it's up to you in the end how you want to make it. If you do want them passable, you would just go ahead and add that as a circle. Now let's go to the basic ground. Okay, so here it is, and in case anyone gets kind of confused, because I know some of the names here get cut off because of the long name, uh, I do include it here also, so it does say the A2 ground style, or the RPG Maker, and we got that one there, the A2. Now for the A3, there we go, it says A3 right there. So all the other files from the other... I guess tile sets, if you end up purchasing one of those, 
they do have something similar where it tells you which one it is. So A3, A2, A4, and this one we're putting is the walls right here. And next we're going to be adding the B, which is going to be file 1. So these are usually things that you would put after you put the brown. And then C would be like large buildings or custom shaped designs of buildings or blocks, things like that. And this would be file 2. Okay, so something important, even though we did create the tunnel set, we still need to adjust the passability or for those who work with 3D, like the collision kind of thing. Right, so if it's a star, that means that the character, the player character is going to be able to walk behind it. So like here, you'd be able to be walking and then you wouldn't be visible, but you're able to go through it. And I'll be demonstrating that. So here it does look pretty much perfect. I'll leave it here for a bit so you can look at how I made mine, in case you want to copy that. So keep in mind the circle means the player can go through it or walk on top of it. X means you're blocked. Star means you go behind it. So I did make this flower here on purpose. This is so that you can kind of see that, okay, so on this one, the player would be completely behind this flower, but then here they would walk in front of it. These are completely impassable. This is a treasure chest, so you wouldn't want the player to walk on top of it. Or if you would, well then you would put another circle instead. And the floor, well you want the player to be walking on the floor. This is if you're going to be wanting the player to be, you know, if you're creating the floor tiles using the B. I'll be showing you the difference between doing that versus using the A2. And that's about it. Oh, and this is a wall in case anyone's confused with that one. Oh, and I did also include some text here to kind of guide you or how I was planning on using them myself. That's about this, so let's go ahead and get started with creating or using it. Oh, okay. So, since it did create itself, I guess based on the memory of everything from what I did, let me explain a few things. So, let's create a second inside. Okay, so this one, we're going to be making it with only B, and let me also check here, I do believe this one is using the main one, yes it is, okay. So this interior is created using A, this whole section. So for example, this black one right here, goes like that, the wall, here. Let me show you what I mean. So, for example, I was going to do this on the other map, but I can show you here just as well. Okay, so let's say, for example, that we use B instead. And the wall would be up here. And we're using the white brown. Now see how nothing appears? This is because this shadow is linked to this whole A section. So essentially if you're going to be creating floor or walls using the B, there's going to be like no shadows here. If that doesn't matter to you, then go ahead and go crazy using these. Um, but if it does, then you're going to essentially be using the A for a lot of the building interiors and stuff like that. There you go. And of course you can just put the B stuff 
wherever you would want, right? Like, if you want something here, or if you want another bed right here, things like that. Okay, so... This does set up where your main character is going to be, right? And here... Let's add in one of those blinking lamps. Right here. So you can see the difference. So I went ahead and copied it so it's quicker to get to the other one. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so you want to make sure stepping is on. Just make sure that it's going to be alternating between it. Now, if it was a character like, say, this one, it would be stepping between these images. Just make sure this one has stepping. Alright, let's do it. Okay, and... Oh, I did forget about the little dancing... flower which is in the large character folder. Just so you can see what it looks like. Now I could create some events that kind of alternates, but I think it'd be just faster for me to go this route instead. So let me make a little... I guess you could say that's like a puddle or something, just so you can see it. Or see the difference between the two. And then here's an example of using the custom building or home versus you know an RPG maker style home. So however big you want to make them. That's the main thing about the RPG maker homes or buildings. You can make them as big or long tall as you want but the custom one is going to always be this big and you're going to have to use the C folder to create those okay and this is also a door but as far as I know I do include the doors on here also on the B section all right so let's see how it looks Okay, so this one blinks from a gray to a white, this one blinks from a black to a white. There's a dancing flower, and these are the auto tiles. There's a slight difference between the two. And that about covers it. I hope this helps you all. Have a nice day, okay?